Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, TNT Dino, and my GHT, what up, Jonas? Nothing, dude. Um, Nothing. Remember how, like, about six months ago when some when the situation happened, there was no news because nothing crazy was going on out in the world? There's a lot of news that is crazy. I'm sorry, wait, you mean... The situation you mean the corona? Yeah, pandemic. like when 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 corona first happened, every story was about corona. Remember the news cycle was really slow because no one, oh, everyone yeah, was actually yeah. in lockdown. Okay. And okay, yeah. yeah, 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 fair enough. People are out and about, like like the pandemic's <laughs> over, dude, and they are making things happen. <laughs> I, I, this is the most I've had in one week since since we started. Six got, months out, pandemic's over, dude. You got that much stuff. It's just the crazy stuff, dude. Nothing of sustenance. Just, just people stuff. are being nuts, dude. All the people that have been locked up for six months finally getting out there, just letting the world know they still around. Where's Crazy Bobby? Oh, we ain't seen him in a while. Oh, Crazy Bobby's here. You know what I mean? God damn it. I'm always looking for Crazy Bobby. And right. Now, I know. Now you know where now I know where he's at. Crazy Bobby Bonilla from the Pittsburgh Pirates. Anyways. <laughs> Thank you so much for I don't joining know us on the Crazy Town Podcast today. Whether you're listening to us on Spotify and iTunes and our, our tongues are right in your ear right now, or <laughs> you're watching us on our YouTube channel, Crazy Town Media, subscribe there. This dude is Twitch famous almost. <laughs> Hate that so He's much. not Twitch famous. It's okay. TNT Dynamite. I am on Twitch every single day at 10 o'clock a.m. Central. That's TNT D I N O M I G H T underscore Crazy Town. At twitch.tv. Dude, this purple guava pear bang. <laughs> it's a little like I'm not I'm like I'm not I'm not upset. I am like I'm happy I've put it in my rotation. It's, it's it's one of the better ones, but you are you are on one today. It's, it's I love unique. it, dude. It's unique <laughs> than all the other flavors. A lot of them taste the same. Dude, I am on it. I've been out here recording <laughs> <laughs> Flow from topic to topic. <laughs> I've been out here champing at the bit, ready to go, dude. I've been recording solo football videos to get the channel going. I'm You've in been it. Up all day, quiet, stewing in your own solitude, just like wow. Oh, there's a person in the room. Here it goes. <laughs> right? Captive audience. Let's go. <laughs> I'm ready to go, dude. So, uh. <laughs> So, uh, so there was a this is I'll go with the older the oldest story I guess I got first. Okay. So there was a police officer in uh Florida, Florida. That makes sense. Miami actually area. Sure. And you know, he comes home from a long day at the office. He parks his car in the driveway like any other police officer does that brings his car home. I mean, not only police are officers park their cars, you know, most people who own cars park their cars. Really? It's a good call. I, I mean, I, I duck and tumble and wherever it hits, that's where I get it the next day. I'm like, I'm right by the house. I just jump out and I'm like, okay, it's over there now. <laughs> you just make the valet chase it? No, no, I just let it. No, dude, I just let it wreck. Oh, okay. Yeah, dude, I got bumpers on it. No, that's what the bumpers are for, right? Honestly, we're making millions over it's, here. It's four bumps. <laughs> you know, everybody else has accidents. I have on purposes. That's damn, damn right, Jonas. <laughs> right? So, you know, this cop, he has a wife. She's like... Most people have wives, Jonas. No. You're right. I'd say less people have wives than don't. <laughs> Statistically speaking, less people have wives, but a lot of people have wives. A lot wives. of married men have wives. Actually, 100% of them do. Yes, some of them have something different. Yes, so... Uh, we so can get into he, that. So his wife goes out into his, into his patrol car, into the back seat. Typical wife. And uh, somehow the car ends up closing. She can't open the back. She, can't. she dies of heat exhaustion. Get the shut the get the shut the fuck. Yeah, no, this is fucking real. But then now it's actually a like who done it sort of story. It he, should be a who done it. Like I'm, she, I'm not gonna die in a car. Well, if you're in the back seat of a cop car, you can't get out. Yeah, but and I can if, make some noise. Yeah, but. If she so essentially here here's where it gets like the cop was supposedly sleeping inside. Yeah. So he didn't notice. She didn't have her phone. Come on. Then man. here's the thing that like I read I found the story on I think on Reddit and in the comments somebody's like, why the hell would she ever be in the back of the police car, ever? 
If he left something in the car, why would it ever be in the back seat? Why would she ever have a need to be in the back seat of the cop car, period? And why would she let the door close? Well, right. How? I mean, you have to, like, you would have to go all the way in, and the door would have to come closed. And, like, yeah, so she didn't have her phone. He was asleep. There was no reason why she was in. The, why she would ever be in the back seat? I could see her getting in the front seat. Like, oh, his wallet's in the car. His, yeah, I need to get yeah. whatever. I'm pretty sure cops are trained not to put stuff in in the back seat anyway. You right, because clean. they don't want a perp to get it. Right, it's not yeah. like you put his lunchbox back there. She's like, I'm gonna go get his ham sandwich. <laughs> she probably ate it in the back seat with the doors closed. No, she's dead. That's not cool. Um, yeah, it sounds like a fucking sounds like a fucking foul play to me. If you ask me, I need to see the neighborhood they live in because you put me in the back seat of a cop cop car, I'm gonna be freaking out. You know, yeah. whether whether I'm put there by a police officer or I get locked into it because of my own in distant incompetence. Right. Well, and from the, the sound of it, it was in the middle of the afternoon because it was hot. Oh, come on. So it was like, uh, you know. So, yeah, it's like she just crawls in there on her own. And, and didn't even try, huh? Didn't even scream, didn't yell. Well, I mean, if a cop, I mean, the cop car windows are meant not to be broken out. I mean, yes. They have a they have a divider between the front and the back, so you can't get into the front to get to the controls. But, I mean, if it's like life or death, I'm not. <laughs> the thing is, is that for a person to die from heat exhaustion, they have to spend a lot of time in that heat. And it's just like, what do you do? You just give up? Yeah, well, it's probably less time than we think. Because, like, once you start cooking on the inside, dude, it's it's over pretty quick. Yeah. I mean, you ever got into your car too? Like, you've been at work all day, you walk out, get in your car, and don't turn on the air? How hot it is in that bee, dude? Imagine sitting in that for 30 minutes. Mm. It, it sounds you start like, sweating immediately. It sounds like you killed her. Yes. And uh, since we do Truth Not Facts here, I have not looked up a follow-up to see if anything has happened. It but it only up. happened like a week ago. So, oh, okay. yeah. All right. Well, well, we'll see. Wouldn't surprise me if another cop... You know, it's, it's funny, Jonas. I was talking to somebody about uh, about people who, like, get into jobs where they have to potentially kill people. And okay. I kind of have to think is that that is not a normal thing. Like, people who, like, join the army and want to, like, they want to get into, I want to go over. I want to go to war. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or, like, a person who's, like, a trained sniper. I've actually talked to, like, a guy who's a trained sniper. I knew sniper. one. I knew a guy who was a sniper in Iraq. And he went over there, and he was a Marine. And, like, he was he was the actual shooter. His, he was, you know, because they always work in pairs. There's a shooter and yeah. there's a sight. He was the actual shooter. It just takes a certain type of mindset to get into, I want to do that. Yeah. Whereas, I, like normal people, I feel like I will do that if I have to. He he never seemed like he was gung ho about it. I think they may have like pushed him to that role because he was a good shot. Because some, because you know, you all do shooting okay. and they'd be like, "Well, Steve's the best shot we got. He's going to sniper school." Yeah, you know, and but it's, even you don't on really a have a choice, even on a lower tier, we both know a professional boxer. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he is a pro, isn't I he? would never, I could never think of, I want to go into the ring and hit a man until he can't stand up versus I would hit a man if I had to. Right, 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 right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it, yeah. It, dude, well, here, yeah, with the this boxing. This takes a certain mindset. The boxing or the UFC, dude, I couldn't get mad enough at somebody that, like, I'm not actually mad enough to, like, never to met the guy. Right. <laughs> like, like, I'm just, like, all of a sudden I'm going to be mad enough I want to fight this dude? Like, mm -hmm. You gotta put them out. You gotta, and you, and I was thinking, I'm like, when you're in there, it's me essentially, or him. essentially, you're thinking every hit has to kill. Right. It's me or him. If <laughs> I don't do it, he's gonna do it to me. Yo. <laughs> and then you could just go out to the freaking the wing stop and go eat wings and have a beer with your buddies. Nah, fam. <laughs> I've seen the side of you. <laughs> at this point. I'm yeah. So, all right. I'm sorry. Let's let's back to the news. Jonas has is is, is pumped about the stories. No, I want to hear some stories. No, but I absolutely get it. Hold on. Okay. There you go. The, the battery went dead when it wasn't dead. But um, no, dude. Like, yeah. People like if you go in, be like. But I think so, that's where like, I think some of like the sociopathic people in our world strive to be like cops or army or mate because they know yeah, okay. they, they have an ability they they could potentially get the opportunity and that's kind of my thing it's like if you have a, a an affinity for it but it's like you don't want to act on it like oh, i could just fucking kill this person and like we say that shit when we're driving in a car and we're not gonna yeah, right, yeah. Right, right, right but some people are it's like hyperbole no. you know some what people mean? are like i really wish i could just right, punch the yeah, shit exactly. out of this dude oh yeah dude and, well, and it's like um, and they just and then need people, they just need a place to get that energy out and then people wonder why we, you hear stories about 
police brutality or army people war killing crimes? people in overseas or like war crimes and all that sort of shit. Because they're just like, I, I could not imagine like going to like a village in like a third world country and just picking on people. You know, what I mean? you're already, you're already. I thought you were gonna say picking off people. No, 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 no. But you're already up. You're already like fucking with them, like having to go in their yeah, house and yeah. look for terrorists and whatever. But then to like do shit where like they they mess, they do anything, and you like butt a gun, hit them with a butt of your gun and shit. Like, dude, I couldn't. I mean, but I guess like, especially in that situation. You never know who's going to try to kill, has a knife and is going to try to stab you. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, it's like, same thing Not with cops, dude. You go to a crime scene? Anybody yeah. could have a fucking gun, especially in Texas. <laughs> yeah, not to mention, I think it's I think it's a it's a combination of yes, you have to take every exchange seriously, but it's also like once you spend so much time in anything, it becomes just kind of like old hat it's just this is what it is and i'm accustomed to it now so now i act in a way that in normal society would not be an exception would not be accepted but this situation has changed the way that i perceive reality plague rats yeah yeah um roaches yeah dude roaches. <laughs> it's based, i call it roaches i call corona corona's roaches people people are just treating corona like eh, whatever you know it's been like, well, yeah, 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 like, yeah 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 we got roaches now yeah, america has roaches <laughs> So, yeah, dude, that is messed up. Like, I guess I never thought. What other jobs do you potentially get to kill people? <laughs> like, you said you were the talking. Fuck? You said you were talking to someone about I'm not jobs. An expert on the shit. I well, just, I mean, I like, just... but there's jobs like doctor, surgeon. Like, you don't get to kill them, but you can accidentally kill them. Um, I mean, yeah, but like that's more of a humanitarian role. Like you're trying to save lives. You're talking about what was the doctor that was actually killing? People? Oh, he was he from was... Dallas, actually. He was like just doing experimental surgeries and shit, and like yeah, Kevorkian. But that was the guy who was helping people do assisted suicide. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but is what other jobs are you, like? Do you potentially have to kill someone? There aren't too many of like, them that like you cops, can do it legally. Yeah, cops, military, and I mean like fucking goon for a fucking yeah. mob boss. I guess like, like yeah I guess security guards can if you're armed you tend yeah. like the Brinks truck guy like if somebody tries to like if you try to fuck with the Brinks guy he has a gun yeah but he's he, I don't think he's out there like I hope I get to kill a motherfucker today <laughs> you know what I, I want to kill someone let me be a Brinks truck driver I'm sure he's just like let me get home to my family that's true I just mean the people that actually take jobs where it's like violence is inevitable if you're a police officer, it's it's pretty inevitable that you're going to encounter something like yeah, that. Yeah, at least if you're a per person that's going to be kicking and swinging. And yeah, if you UFC or a boxer, you're going to encounter violence. If you choose to go to the army and you choose to go to a place where violence is, then yeah, you're yeah. going to. It's just people who kind of seek that out. And I don't know if it's like an adrenaline <laughs> rush. I don't really know what the thing is, the driving nature. But I still think that it's very odd that the majority of us who are quote unquote civilized is we can't get into that mindset. We stay away from it as, as much as possible. Yeah. I will like, I will fucking hurt a motherfucker if they hurt somebody I love, but I'm not going to just jump in the ring and start punching people or just start shooting right. people I've never met for no reason. Yeah, yeah. This, this, this kind of fucks with me a little bit. I agree, bit. dude. Um, right. This just happened maybe today. Mm. Um, so, speaking of police... Uh, oh boy. There was a lady in Georgia. Can't sheriff. Wait for this one. She went to, she went to go serve papers at a house. Serve papers. Okay. Yeah, like give, like you've been yeah, served. Yeah, yeah. And uh, she came back to her sheriff's car, deputy car, uh -huh. and there was a fucking goat in it. Like a whole goat. Like a whole goat was inside, like in between the front and the passenger seat, like uh, over the console. A living goat. A living goat, and okay. she had on her body cam, so there's video of this. Sweet. And she's like, get out of there. Get out of there! She goes around the other side and tries to like push it, pull it, cross to grab its horn. Like finally, like in this dude, the, the fucking the, the goat is eating her papers inside no. the car. Like he's chewing on her papers. No. So like she f goes around, she comes to the passenger. The other, she goes back and forth a few times. And the goat finally gets out. The goat fucking butts her and knocks her over at the end into the and then he still has like a paper in his mouth. <laughs> That's assault. Uh, right? <laughs> That's assaulting an officer. Right. And she was just, I was just like, dude. I like that. That's, this lady's never <laughs> lived this down. That's a good palate cleanse, actually. Right, exactly. Now we're getting back to more fucked up shit. <laughs> 
Uh, I have another really bad cop story. I'll save that for another episode. Oh, jeez. Uh, I got another animal story if you want that. Yeah, let's go, dude. I got and I got one about somebody doing crazy things. But, all right. Uh, so an organ hunter. He was a 66-year-old man. Um, he went hunting. And he was bow hunting, actually. Ooh, with a crossbow? <coughs> this happened August 30th, actually. Okay. His name was uh, David of... David. Mark David. Sorry. Mark, Mark David. David. Mr. Yeah. David. Mr. David. And this happened in Oregon. Tillamook. Till yeah, Tillamook, Oregon. Tillamook, Oregon, Florida. Nice, gotcha. wholesome town, wholesome people. He goes bow hunting. What if that's he where the cheese is made? Tillamook cheese? Might probably. Maybe. It's named know. after it. I, I didn't know, know there was a Tillamook oh, cheese. It's, it's some high quality cheese. It's expensive, dude. Is that the good <laughs> shit? Oh, it's like the sh it's like the, it's the like you know shit. you get like the uh, the grated cheese. They yeah. do the great set. So they're, they're like a half inch long wide by yeah. like they're like they're fat grates, and it's like it's like five bucks for a bag of cheese, dude. It's normally like two fifty. Double time, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not hip to the VSOP cheese. Woo! The top shelf cheese. I'm Get lactose intolerant. There. Give me that great goose <laughs> cheese. Anyways. Let's feed the stereotype. Uh, okay, and uh, he's, he's shooting. He shoots his bow. Right. He hits the deer. Okay. But he does not kill the deer. It wasn't a kill shot. Okay. So then he, he uh, what else do you do? You shoot follow it again. Yeah. Well, he couldn't shoot it again. It ran off. Oh, okay. You know, it doesn't you don't shoot a deer and it just stands there. The deer runs off. So he starts tracking the deer, following the blood, following the footprints, doing all the tracker right. things. You know that that a, a train huntsman would do. Yeah. Stumbles up on the deer again, but this deer ain't having it. Deer fucking gores the dude to death. Oh, with his antlers? Yes. Oh, snap, dude. Just fucking the deer was pissed. He was like, this motherfucker shot me. <laughs> you know, I would feel the same way, I think. If a deer shot me with an arrow and I lived, you wanna, okay, so this story, while it is fucked up that a, a poor 66-year-old man died, while he was actually, I feel like, hunting an animal in the way that the, that the good Lord intended, this is like the most humane way During to do During hunting it. season with a bow. like Exactly. Right, right, right. I got exactly. you. Um, so when they caught the deer, they killed the deer. Right. You don't see anything wrong with that? No, they usually kill animals that kill but humans. But I kind of feel like the deer won. No, like the whole point of going out and no fuck that shit. Yeah, You're going man. out hunting. It's man versus nature. All right. If you shoot the deer, the deer finds you, takes you out. Good luck out there. <laughs> now he's got earn its life. Now he's got point. a taste of blood, dude. Now he's like <laughs> deers are herbivores. Well, I guess not, dude. <laughs> he was protecting itself. Truth. But you know it what? It was in dude? its neighborhood. Okay. You came in, you shot it, it killed you, and then you're basically like, I'm sorry, there's no stand your ground law hot, in the forest. I have another hot take. If I'm out bow hunting, I've never hunted in my life, so this is just me speaking like an ass with no notion of how things really work. If I'm bow hunting, I'm going to have a pistol on my ankle. Because if that fucking yes, deer comes, no, no, not to kill them like that, oh but if, if the deer or the tiger I'm hunting comes at me, I'm going to be able to shoot it with a gun, dude. Because if it, you know what? If he would have had a little derringer in his pocket, little pew pew, dude, he would have walked up, deer would have been like, Grr, and he would have been like, pow, pow. Jonas, I want rights for this deer. I get you. It's a shame that this man died, but if you go out into the deer's neighborhood and you are shooting at the deer, you you lost to the deer. Yeah, he did. He could have had a gun. He could have saved his life, and I wish that so he would have. Why didn't the deer just gore all the other people <laughs> coming after him? Because then you outnumber. I don't know. I just honestly, I kind of like when I read the story. I was like, that kind of breaks the rules a little bit. This the rules of the laws of nature. Yeah, rule schmules. Mm, fine, whatever, Jonas. Fine. There's no there's no stand your ground law in the forest. It's fine. Nobody <laughs> no, no, nobody gets to win. <laughs> No, no animal can ever win. Animal kills a person, boom. Yeah, dude. We, we kill the animal, eat yeah, it. Yeah, dude, you heard about dogs that attack people? They kill them. I mean, yeah. Yeah, what if you, like, what if you were playing? But, but it's different when you're meeting on the field of battle. Yeah, but it's like. Yeah, and he took the first shot. The gonna... deer was minding his business, eating grass, thinking about its wife. His wife, dear. His wife, his dear wife. His youngsters. 
Yeah. Ready to mate, probably just full of fucking deer semen. And then you just wow. come out of nowhere and just shoot it in the fucking back. He was thinking about mounting his deer wife. What's a female deer called? Doe? A doe. Yeah, he's going to slam that doe when he gets like, home. <laughs> like, what else was to slam the doe? For, for real. <laughs> for real, doe, you know? <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> what, was, what was the deer supposed to do to protect itself? Run. <laughs> 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 I get you, dude. Like, I feel like it's like Battle Royale. Like, hey, you know, I shot no. you with an arrow. I came to go get you. You ate me. You ate me and cannibalized me. I'm going to become, uh, let you be free. Exactly. But how'd they find the deer, dude? It took a long time, dude, right? I like, mean, was the deer just, like, sitting there dancing on his corpse? It was probably hurt already. Uh, they cut the meat up and they gave it to, like, charities or some shit. His I don't wife. know. Here's the meat of the wow. deer. Wow. <laughs> dark place like, Jonas. I like it's it. like here this deer killed your husband do you want to eat him she eats it raw <laughs> right in front of She's him like, you have the heart I have <laughs> I have my husband's powers yeah <laughs> no nice. I have a terrible shot <laughs> <laughs> um, <coughs> so I'm gonna save the other story for the next episode because I feel we could talk about it a little bit sure so I actually have another this is another Jonas <laughs> I have so many cop stories, dude. Let's, let's go. This, right. is a, this isn't, uh, you this love isn't the about anything boys bad. in blue, dude. Blue Lives Matter. So, this was happening in Kentucky, Florida. Man is driving. He's like, doo doo ba doo you know, getting the, going to the, get his deer washed. and uh, Get his beer washed. His deer. Oh, his deer well, washed. He's going he's gonna to gut his deer and cut it up for his family. You didn't even say he had a deer. The man he has doesn't. a deer. This is, that's purely a lie. No. Okay. <laughs> so, he's driving. <laughs> And he gets pulled over by the police, and uh, after after closer examination, they realize that he uh, his license plate is is fraudulent. <laughs> I think I saw this. This man drew <laughs> his own shit. license plate. They had a picture of it. Yes, yeah, it, it looked just like a motherfucking looked, Kentucky plate. It was pretty good, right? It like, was pretty you could good. Tell it was faded, like it was done in marker, right? <laughs> That was the thing. If he had done it in, like, colored pencil, it probably would have gone un gone yeah, unchecked. Or, but, or some well, uh, good so, markers. But he did go to jail because he has no insurance and was driving on a suspended license. Go figure. He had a car with no... They probably took his fucking plates. Yeah, I mean, he didn't have a plate. He didn't have plates. So, but I guess what tipped him off, what he, why he got pulled over in the first place... The, he didn't draw a registration sticker on the plate. So when the cops saw it, there was no registration. Uh, so he pulled them over for not having any registration. Uh, and then I'm sure he ran the plate number <laughs> after that and was like, "This is that plate does not come back. That's not a, a registered plate in the state. And then uh, it even, all rolled. Even still, I've done some pretty shady things to like uh, subvert registration for vehicles and stuff yeah, in really? the past. Yeah. Man, there's some stuff. I ain't gonna like name any of them because I could still be culpable. But I've never thought of drawing a license plate. No, and dude. That's I think that's a felony though. I'm, this no. <laughs> that can't be a felony. Nobody gets hurt in that. It's like vehicle fraud, dude. You vehicle can be like, fraud. You can be like driving around murdering people with fake plates. Wait, you're tossing murder into it. Murder is a felony. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure drawing a license plate is just like they shake their head at you, slap you on the wrist. Yeah, dude, but he's, he's got other felonies, you know? <laughs> Why does he have felonies? Dude, I feel like because he's a good I, artist? I, I feel like someone who draws a license plate is in trouble other places. Um, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to deny that, <laughs> but I'm not going to say he's a goddamn convicted murderer. Yeah, no, dude. No, 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 I no. think he's just an artist with, you know, probably making up, making bad decisions. He's yeah, good at making bad decisions. Definitely bad decisions. You know what isn't a bad decision? Ending this episode, because that's all the time that we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that, this dude does Twitch things. TNT Dynamite. I'm on Twitch every single day at 10 o'clock a.m. Central. That's TNT, D-I-N-O. M-I-G-H-T underscore crazy town at twitch.tv. Hell yeah for Jonas. TNT. We'll catch you on the next one. We uh, are a- Ooh. Ooh.